Good morning and welcome to our Stage 5 Assembly. Please stand as Christopher Malone sings the Australian National Anthem. This will be followed by an acknowledgement of country and prayer. We pause to remember the uniqueness of this place. We honour and respect the generations of the Tharawal people who held this land in their dreaming. We begin in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Loving God, today we celebrate strong minds and gentle hearts. We join in gratitude for those who have used their gifts to, at to attain academic success. The, they are men of strong mind. We pray in gratitude, demonstrated love, compassion, and joy in their relationship with others. They are men of gentle heart. Bless each of us with wisdom as we use the gift of knowledge. Bless each of us with your grace and courage to be ourselves. Help us to share our gift with others. As we live our wild and precious lives, we pray that we all strive to be men of strong mind and gentle heart. May we grow in wisdom and faith as well as knowledge. May we grow ever closer to Christ and allow his truth and his light to shine through us. We pray this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Marcelin and St. Gregory, Mary our good mother, and let us always remember to Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. A significant focus of the assembly this morning is to acknowledge who have attained to acknowledge students who have attained excellent academic results across their various courses of study based on semester one reports. Awards will be presented to students for gaining first, second, and third place in each course. As the awards are presented, I would ask that you hold your applause until the end when together we will congratulate all the award winners. To introduce these awards and the award recipients, please welcome to the stage, Ms. Keir, the Stage 5 Academic Coordinator. These awards will be presented by our Assistant Principal, Mr. Brooks, assisted by Mr. Bombardieri. Good morning everyone, it gives me um, a great sense of joy to stand up here today and acknowledge the boys who have worked hard in our first semester and have achieved some fantastic results. Um, I'll start with our Year 9 award winners. Archie Berthon, third in course, physical activity and sports studies. Ryan Carter, equal third in course, Mathematics Pathways 3. Jacob Darby, third in course, Commerce. Zachary Evans, third in, equal third in course, Photography and Digital Media. Dominic Lustry, equal third in course, Photography and Digital Media. 
Jaden Malia, Equal 13 course, Catholic Studies. Patrick Ward, Equal 13 course, Catholic Studies. Hayden Brown, Equal 2nd in course, Mathematics Pathway 2. William Kosas, 2nd in course, Music. Camille Duna, 2nd in course, Commerce. Aidan Ellis, 2nd in course, Physical Activity and Sports Studies. Cooper Mangan, equal second in course, English. Josh O'Briner, second in course, Information Software and Technology. Valentino Romanelli, equal second in course, Industrial Technology and Metals. Max Rubin, second in course, Agriculture. Lachlan Stanley, equal second in course, English. If we can please congratulate this first group of award winners. <laughs> Benjamin White, equal second in course, Industrial Technology Medals. Harrison Windsor, second in course, Mathematics Pathways 3. Ashin Cretion, equal first in course, Industrial Technology Timber. Harry Elson, equal first in course, Geography. Angus Limbury, equal first in course, International Studies. Maverick Maeva, first in course, Physical Activity and Sports Studies. Heath Mason, equal first in course, Industrial Technology Timber. Jack Noy, first in course, Industrial Technology Metals. Jack Peters, first in course, Commerce. Oliver Tucker, equal first in course, International Studies. Eric Zhang, equal first in course, Photography and Digital Media. If you can please congratulate this group of award winners. Aidan Connolly, third in course geography, equals second in course industrial technology engineering. Elliot Power, third in course agriculture, second in course Catholic studies. Lachlan Dady, equals second in course English, equals second in course history. Toby Drinnan, Equal third in course Catholic Studies, first in course Industrial Technology Engineering. Isaac Puse, first in course Information Software and Technology, equal third in course Mathematics Pathway 3. Samuel McLaren, first in course Mathematics Pathway 2, equal second in course Visual Arts. Justin Blooms, equal second in course history, equal first in course international studies. Oliver Stewart, equal second in course English, equal first in course industrial technology timber. Benjamin Ryan, third in course music, equal second in course personal development, health and physical education, equal second in course visual arts. Joel Offord, first in course agriculture, 
equals second in course mathematics pathway two, first in course personal development, health and physical education. Hamish Skillen equals second in course history, equals second in course industrial technology engineering, equals second in course science, first in course visual arts. Kieran Minogue equals second in course history, first in course mathematics pathway three, first in course music, first in course science. Timothy Saunders, first in course Catholic studies, first in course English, first in course history, equal first in course photography and digital media. If you can please congratulate the year nine award winners. Thank you. Um, next, we will be presenting the Year 10 Award winners. Alex Cummins, Equal Third in Course, Information, Software and Technology. Michael Alassi, Third in Course, Mathematics Pathway 3. Baxter Evans, Third in Course, Photography and Digital Media. Joshua Gould, third in course, visual arts. Zach Pavone, third in course, industrial technology, electronics. William Potts, third in course, music. Thomas Sheldrick, third in course, mathematics, pathway one. Fergus Shelton, third in course, Mathematics Pathway 2. Manoj Wirisingham, equal third in course, Commerce. Michael Fetterplace, equal second in course, Industrial Technology Engineering. Patrick Formosa, second in course, Information, Software and Technology. Montel Maruri, second in course, Catholic Studies. Rohith Pradeep, second in course, Geography. Thomas Tabor, equal second in course, Industrial Technology Engineering. Can we please congratulate this group of award winners. <laughs> Finley Thorpe, second in course, Visual Arts. Samuel Turner, equal second in course, Industrial Technologies Medal. Callum Williams Paroli, second in course, Mathematics Pathway 2. Jack Carey, first in course, Industrial Technology Engineering. Aaron Coleman, equal first in course, Mathematics Pathway 1. Liam Croker, equal first in course, physical activity and sports studies. Dominic Curtin, equal first in course, science. Jonah Cutterjar, first in course, industrial technology medals. Leo Dejeling, first in course, music. John Dimick O'Connell, equal first in course, personal development, health and physical education. Thomas Fletcher, equal first in course, physical activity and sports studies. Charlie Geimer, equal first in course, physical activity and sports studies. Riley Keogh, equal first in course, agriculture.
Can we please congratulate this group of award winners? <laughs> Shelby Malone, first in course, Industrial Technology Timber. James McMullen, equal first in course, Mathematics Pathway 1. Bryce Skillen, first in course, Visual Arts. Joseph Binter, first in course, Geography. Mason Bell, equal third in course, Commerce, equal third in course, Personal Development, Health and Physical Education. William Sinclair, first in course, Commerce, equal third in course, History. Lachlan Bush, equal first in course, Agriculture, equal second in course, Industrial Technology Medals. Nicholas Cosma, equal first in course agriculture, equal second in course industrial technology timber. Patrick Davis, equal second in course industrial technology timber, first in course mathematics pathways two. John McDonald, equal second in course English, first in course photography and digital media. Andrew Parkin, second in course music, second in course mathematics pathway three, equals second in course English. Ben Colborn, equal third in course information software and technology, third in course science, first in course English. Evan Wolf, third in course geography, equal third in course personal development, health and physical education, first in course information software and technology. Can we please congratulate this group of award winners? <laughs> Tyrone Tarabay, first in course industrial technology electronics, equal second in course English, second in course photography and digital media. Declan Byram, first in course mathematics pathway three, first in course Catholic studies, equal second in course English. Jordan Messer, first in course history, equal first in course science, second in course commerce. Eden Grasso, equal first in course personal development, health and physical education, second in course history, third in course Catholic studies, equal third in course commerce. Can we please congratulate the year 10 award winners? Congratulations to each of the academic award winners. Carl Rushworth will now play his own interpretation of the Incredibles theme.
Thank you, Carl, for the incredible performance. It was really good, and I'm sure it all kept us very well entertained. Uh, we, will now we will now announce the Champagne Awards for 2020. These awards will recognise members of our community who make a significant contribution to the life and value of the school. They have been nominated by the college staff as fitting the criteria of strong mind and gentle heart. The first four recipients will receive the Champagne certificate. One student will then be called forward to receive the Champagne medallion. I would like to call Mr. Goodhue and Mr. Hogan to forward to announce the award recipients for year nine and 10. And Mr. McMaster and Ms. Clark to present the certificates and medallions. Good morning. It is my pleasure today to present the Champagne Awards for year nine, 2020. Now, there are several students who could easily be recipients of this award across the grade, and I would continue to ask all Year 9 students to strive to do their best each and every day. Now, this is not an award for popularity, academic excellence, or sporting achievement, but an award which recognises young men who demonstrate a strong mind and gentle heart in their interactions with teachers and their peers. The characteristics which we look to um, include a joyful manner, compassion for others, a sense of faith, exemplary manners, and appreciative of the gifts and talents of others. The recipients of the Champagne certificates are Adam Fordham, Angus Limbury, Joel Offord, and Rory Pennin. A round of applause as we congratulate our Champagne Certificate recipients. I would like to recognise one of our students as a recipient of the Champagne Medallion. This is a student who is a quiet achiever who consistently does his best. He is currently on top of the award points and his good nature and worth ethic has led to a number of nominations from his teachers. Please welcome and congratulate Patrick Ward. Patrick is a student who strives to achieve his best in all endeavours. He quietly contributes to many facets of life at the college without fuss or the need for recognition. Patrick has a trustworthy nature and is appreciative of the gifts and talents of others. Patrick's modest demeanour is aligned with his genuine personal pride and commitment to excellence. His sense of humour, humility and compassion is well grounded in the strongest principles instilled from him from a young age. The sacredness of the school day is not lost on Patrick and his attendance is sitting at 100% for the year. Patrick is a credit to his school, his family and most importantly himself. Congratulations to all of our Champagne awardees for, 2000, for 2020 in Year 9. Round of applause. Thank you. Whilst today is a special day and we acknowledge a range of award winners, let's never forget it's not about today. Not solely, today is just a culmination. It's about every day. It's about every day, every week, every year that the fine young men in front of us today strive to walk like St. Marcel and Champagne. And today we will recognise a small number, and there are a large number. Today we will recognise a small number of young men who epitomise the qualities of St. Marcel and Champagne. To be recognised by the staff is amazing. 
It's not like a best and fairest competition. It's not like the most valuable player. But you're recognised by the staff of this college as fitting that criteria. The first recipient of St. Uh, St. Marcelin Champagne Award for today, Year 10, Leo Dejeling. Jordan Nessa. Montel Murray. William Potts. Could we please acknowledge the first four recipients? Today we have the opportunity to recognise one young man in particular. He epitomises the quiet achiever. He epitomises some Marcelin Champagne. He's generous, goes about his work quietly, hardworking, diligent and excelled in everything he does. He has strong moral values, and these are constantly evident and highlight his sense of community, family, and particularly faith. He's respectful, kind, well-mannered, a credit to his family, and a credit to the college community. I have much pleasure in announcing the 2020 Year 10 Marcelin Champagne Medallion is awarded to Emmanuel Aquilina. Congratulations to these students. Please welcome Mr McMaster to the stage to deliver his principal's address. Well, good morning, gentlemen and, uh, and staff. Today's a joyous occasion. Uh, it seems like it's very flat today. You know, maybe because we're not in good practice about this. And I was watching the young men walk across the stage and. I think we had about 10 per cent of you who smiled. This is a, a fantastic day where we, we actually acclaim and affirm what's good about this college. And uh, you know, to, to receive an academic award today or a Champagne Award is a joyous occasion. Can I get you to sit up, please? Take your hands out of your pockets. I know there's some boys sort of nodding off down there. Everyone just sit up straight. And let's just focus out the front here. As we conclude our assembly today in a really joyous way, I hope the message that I have to bring you today um, you know, sinks into every one of you. It's not just about the award winners today, it's about our community. It takes a village to raise each and every person here. And this community is our village. So I want to firstly acknowledge and pay my respects to the traditional custodians of this country and the first people of the land on which we gather today. And that is significant. And we should do that each and every time that we meet and gather. As we're well aware, young men, we have not had many opportunities this year to formally acknowledge the students in our community who excel academically and who are recognised by the staff through the Champagne Awards today. Similarly, our ability to hold regular masses and assemblies have been curtailed by COVID. 
Missing these events and opportunities makes us yearn for a return to our normal pattern of college life. There's no doubt about that. But we take these little opportunities, like today, to stop, to listen, reflect and affirm all that is great about our college, where our students, staff and families all work together to constantly build this great community. Now, in week four of term three, I certainly want to acknowledge the work that's being put in by every single student, not just our award winners today. Because you might be sitting there thinking, you know, there's not an opportunity for me to walk across that stage. You know, I can't get to first, second and third. But I can do my best every single day. And I want our best not to be the bar too low. I don't want you to just step over it. I want you to strive for it. So I want to acknowledge all the people doing hard work. Hard work in the classroom, hard work in their co-curricular activities, hard work in building relationships with each other. I want to make mention of the fact of those students in our school who are making learning a high priority. The people involved in debating, our athletes, our rugby league players who play today, our ISA rugby teams on a weekend, all of our students who are going that extra mile to be the best in what they can you know, give to the college. So I want to acknowledge those people as, as well today. Now today in this assembly, we have rightfully acknowledged and affirmed our highest performing academic achievers from years nine and 10. And we've also awarded students in year nine and 10 with their Champagne Awards. Now this is highly significant that we do this today. As this Saturday, the church celebrates the Feast of the Assumption of Mary, which is the patronal feast of Marist all around the world, and we are Marist. For the young men receiving their Champagne Awards today, I hope that they and you can reflect upon the importance of our, our mother Mary as, he, as she was to Marcelin and as he went about setting up the Institute of the Brothers under the, under the name of the Little Brothers of Mary. So I congratulate all our, all our award winners for Champagne Awards today. Now, in almost all cases today, the students who have walked across this stage have been students who have made sacrifices to ensure that they are successful. They're hardworking, they're dedicated, and they're driven to be the best they possibly can be. But their success is not built on shallow ground. It's built on strong foundations, great support from their parents and their peers, the willingness of the students to go the extra mile, a strong culture of resilience, being able to bounce back, and working in close relationship with their teachers. So I congratulate those young men who have walked across this stage today and have achieved academic success. I think you all realise that engaging in learning has significant rewards. And if you haven't realised that yet, you need to. Coming to a school like this is an opportunity. Every single day is an opportunity to make a better person of yourself. What you give each lesson and each day and each week comes back to you in significant rewards. The students today who walked across the stage are students who recognise the need to study, to do their best, to seek their teacher's advice, to complete their homework and assignments, and above all, really to, to develop a love of learning, something that will hold them in good stead in the years ahead. You also recognise that learning can be fun. It's not all hard work. And it can set you up for life and give you all you need as great foundations for the rest of your life. And every student here today, just focus out the front, please. Every student here today needs to recognise that to succeed academically is a great thing. 
and be proud of that. Be aspirational. Set your goals high and work to achieving those. So be aspirational. I want today to also recognise those students, and I said it at the beginning, who haven't walked across the stage, but those students who have achieved their personal best. And I don't want your personal best to be down low. That's too easy. But if you've achieved something that is a personal best, it's a, it's a, it's a rise from where you were in the past, in the last semester, I congratulate you. And I ask you to now set it up a notch higher and keep working towards that. Now, to our students sitting in the audience today listening to the words but not knowing how to improve their academic results, well, my advice is pretty simple. First thing you need to do is start with a positive attitude. Wanting to learn rather than seeing learning as a chore. If you develop a love for learning, that's power. See your teacher as a valuable asset to your learning, not someone who is there to keep you in line. Don't be afraid to have a go. And along the way, be willing to make some mistakes. Don't stop halfway. You now we had our athletics carnival at the end of uh, week one and I stood at the end of that 100 metre track or the start of that 100 metre track for, for nearly every single age group. And what I aspired you all to do was to have a real go and to make it to the line. And it's the same analogy with our, with our learning. Don't stop halfway. Don't stop before you get there. Reach the finish tape. Now, I know that that takes courage and determination, but the rewards are pretty sweet. And don't make excuses. And remember that one of my favourite sayings is this one. You can either have excuses or you can have results, but you can't have both. So don't make excuses. Now, we know that your academic results are a combination of hard work, commitment, sacrifice and a desire to be the best you can. Keep at it. And remember, there's no such thing as cheap success. I've said this before. If we want to succeed, we have to pay the price. And the road to success is a long one and it's got lots of obstacles. But as young men maturing, in a place that really does care for you, you have so much support around you to work through those obstacles. I want to conclude my address today by just thanking our staff. Because I know that every single staff member in this school works extremely hard and they're dedicated and they want the best for you. But they educate you every day from their hearts and I want to thank them for that. As Nelson Mandela, one of my favourites, has said, education is the most powerful weapon which can, we, we can use to change the world. So in a place where education is absolutely our priority, let's continue to strive to be the best we can and be fine young men. Thank you, everyone. That concludes our assembly this morning. Thank you for your attendance and congratulations to all of our awards recipients this morning. Please stand for the singing of the Sup Tuum.
et benedicta. Sub tuum presidium confugimus, confugimus, sancta Dei genitrix, sancta Dei genitrix. At the direction of your year coordinator, please return to class.